Now, as we can see, the, the MAC addresses as compared to the IP addresses. The IP addresses can be whatever values that we want. I assign router 1.1, one, one, router 2.2, .2, router 3.3. So it's, it's kind of self-explanatory from a documentation point of view, the way I use the addresses. But the MAC addresses, there's really no correlation between them. So you typically wouldn't want to memorize what are all the MAC addresses of the devices in the network. So to avoid this, we have a protocol that automatically runs on all the routers and switches that is known as the Cisco Discovery Protocol, or CDP where CDP runs on both the Layer 2 switches and the Layer 3 routers so that they can exchange basic information about each other for uh, management and for documentation purposes. So on the switch, if we look at the Show CDP Neighbors, it tells you automatically what devices are connected to which local ports. So this is a useful feature when you're trying to figure out what does the physical network topology look like. Where if I were to go to switch one and look at the show CDP neighbors, it should say that I have on port fast ethernet 0 slash 3, I have router 3 connected. And on fast ethernet 0 slash 1, I have router 1 connected. Then I have these two interfaces that go to switch 2, I have these two interfaces that go to switch 3. So from show CDP neighbors, this, this protocol is going to be on by default. You can also look at the show CDP neighbor detail. And it's going to tell you not only what is the host name of the device, it's going to show you what IP address it has assigned and also what its layer 2 address is. So if we look at like the, the address of router 1, And let's see, what was router 1's MAC address? BC20. Let's look at let's look at this from the router's perspective. If we look at the show CDP neighbors. Router 1 says, I'm connected to switch 1. My local interface is fast ethernet 0 slash 0. On the switch side, I'm connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 1. The platform is going to be what the, what the model number is. So if you don't know what the current network looks like, you can go around and look at show CDP neighbors and figure out some of this information. It'll also tell you what are some of the, the software features that it's running. So it's, switch 1 is saying, I'm a switch. And it says, I also support IGMP. This is a multicast protocol that would be used for like video. And if we look at this from the other side on switch one, it should say that router one has the uppercase R there. So router one is a layer three router, but it also could be a, a layer two switch. This one's a 2610XM, one the other one's a 2611XM. And again, this is going to be on automatically. You don't need to add anything to, to use this. If you wanted to, to change the protocol's options or disable it for some reason, this is going to be under the CDP options in global configuration. So if you wanted to change how often are they sending their, their messages, or what we call the hellos, and then how long you wait before saying that the neighbor has disappeared. Like if I were to shut the link down on the other side after this hold time expires, then their entry would leave out of the table. So the default option on the routers and switches is the CDP run command. It's on automatically. If you wanted to disable it, you could say no CDP run. Or at an individual interface level, you could say no CDP enable. So this one controls on a per port basis. This one controls globally for the, uh, the platform.
the only problem with this is that it's a Cisco proprietary protocol. It's specific to their implementation. So as the name implies, Cisco Discovery Protocol. There is an open standard version that is similar to this that is known as the Link Local Discovery Protocol or LLDP. So Link Local or Link Layer Discovery Protocol. This basically does the same thing as what CDP does, but you could run it on, on other vendors' equipment. So you'll see sometimes like your Windows servers or your like VMware servers, those can run LLDP, which can then help you to, to document what's going on in the, the physical network. So we see on the on this on switch one here, even though it's attached to even though it's attached to that Windows machine when we show CDP neighbors, its entry is not going to show up because Windows doesn't run CDP. It could run LLDP, the open standard version of it, but it, it doesn't uh, uh, by default. Is that something you have to turn on in all the routers and switches? On all the routers and switches, right. I don't believe it's, it's actually supported in these versions that we're running. This one is running version uh, 12 to 44. We looked at this a little bit yesterday on the, the feature navigator, but another thing that is useful about this is that if you're looking for a specific software feature, so here let's say search by feature, you could then either search for it or just go through the list. So let's say LLDP. IEEE 802.1AB is what the standard is. So if you add that to the list and then continue, it's going to show you all the hardware platforms that support it, which is under platforms. Then if you click on an individual platform, like here we're using the 3550 switches, this one doesn't support it. But if we looked at something that's a newer model, like 3560, it then tells you what software version do you need to run in order to support that. Like the newest ones would be release 15. Then the one before that is 12258, uh, sub-release SE2.